Okay, now that um, you, if you're doing the citrus salt thing, I just want to touch base and say, these are some of the ones I did earlier in the other video. And notice how much lighter and brighter they did dry, okay? So when you start to open those papers up, be careful, if it feels a little thick, that usually means there are two. And you do want to consider both sides before you make your selection. That one's kind of cool. So, you know, but this side might be better for this. So you get, you get your choice, okay? Now, mounting these papers. And mounting anything for collage. This includes for drawing class here. For this one here that I've mounted, I used this, which is a matte gel, okay? It means it dries flat. It doesn't uh, have a shiny thing to it. What I do is I take this, mount another one here. I'm going to mount this guy right here. Okay. So I take a piece of, I take a piece of mat board, you could have a palette knife, anything. And you're going to spread on, there's not, this isn't too big of an image. You're going to spread it on there. Not too thickly. Then I'm going to take this, big brush, big bristle hair brush, and kind of even it out. Then I'm going to place carefully my image. And I'm not going to tamp it down too much right now. Using a piece of paper towel, you lay that over the top of your image, okay? Thusly. And I take a brayer, but you can also use a mat, uh, piece of mat board, a clean one and roll it from the center out really well. And it should mush out any extra glue and things like that. And there you go, mount it and just let it dry, okay? If you wanna do the same thing with uh, newspapers, don't forget torn edges are good for some of this. You may decide to mount over things. You can use this stuff as well. I'm gonna See, where's my mat board here? Use a little of this extra here. And spread out the glue again. And I'm gonna mount a piece of newspaper. Piece of paper towel over the top again. Roller. If you don't have access to gel medium, yeah, I didn't get enough glue here, so I'm going to put a little bit more here. That's fine. There we go. Keep my brayer clean. There we go. Okay. That will dry perfectly. And notice it doesn't really harm the surface of the paper. I had that little butterfly right here. So here we go. I use a printout here with a torn edge. You can work over this. That's what's nice about this. If you use... Um, you're, you know, you're putting this into a mixed media piece, of course. Spread out the glue again. You can use Mod Podge, but it does tend to be shiny. That's why I like this matte gel medium. And you may also decide to use, I'm rearing out now, there we go, good. So I went with the matte because it doesn't shine and it doesn't create that kind of surface that you can't mark over. You can also use any kind of this semi-liquid gloss medium or matte medium and varnish that, that, can, that is a thinner consistency. It's just a little harder to control. That's why I like the gel because it will stay. Have a good time.